here's the tools that you're gonna need obviously a caulking gun sealant a razor blade to cut off the old caulking a scraper of some sort this is just a chisel um, for getting the old caulking off um, your drill with a variety of different tips because you don't know if it's gonna be a Phillips or if it's gonna be one of those weird uh, square bits and then a little bonus add-on is ceramic coating so what I'm gonna do very first step is I'm going to ceramic coat this um, I just happen to have this um, if you don't have it go to your local detail shop and buy some you should ceramic coat this before you put it up it's gonna help increase the longevity of this plastic before it starts cracking from the Sun another thing you see I got two different types of sealant here I didn't know that this um, skylight that I bought came with sealant so I had already bought some at Home Depot Hopefully I can just uh, return this because this was expensive. This is Henry's, 100% silicone. It is um, UV resistant, but this was $24 for this one tube. So if I can get away with just using this, then I'm gonna return this, okay? All right, so let's get started with the ceramic coating. Types of ceramic coatings out there. This is a really simple graphene ceramic coating. It's a spray on one, so it's really easy to apply. You literally just spray it on. That's pretty thick. If I was doing it an RV, I, I wouldn't be spraying it on that thick, but this um, visually, it doesn't matter if it doesn't look that great. It's on the roof, no one's gonna see it. So I'm just spraying it on a little extra thick. And then you literally just wipe it in. All right, so that's pretty much it for that part um, you can let it dry and then use a new side of the rag to wipe it down again but like I said it's going on the roof it really isn't necessary as long as it's on there who cares what it looks like at least it has a coating on it so moving on okay something to consider before you jump on Amazon and buy this is measure it first they're not all the same so in my particular case I needed a 26 by I think it's 17 or it's 18 so the one I bought as you can see size wise it's the exact same 18 by 26 now a lot of this seems pretty obvious but now we're just going to expose the old screws that's where the scraper comes into play you got to scrape this old caulking off someone has fixed this before this definitely isn't the factory one I could tell this is a you can see factory sealant and then this sealant on top of it someone's done this before Check this out. So I didn't realize how bad it was, but look, all along the edge, this whole thing is cracked. Let's see what this side looks like. This side I can see from inside is busted. Look right there. The whole edge, just this huge crack in the plastic. That's crazy. All right, so here's another thing that we're gonna get to when I install the new one, but if you look right here where this screw is, you probably can't see it from over there. There's a big crack through where the screw is. That probably is what started some of these other cracks. When you're tightening down these screws, you can't tighten them down that much. You're just gonna crack the plastic. All these cracks are originating from a screw. So keep that in mind, y'all. You want to save money and save time. Don't go 
go over tightening the screws now. I know this is seeming a little redundant, but I'm just gonna keep emphasizing this. Look at this. So this whole crack right here, can you see, am I in? Okay, this whole crack right here, look, that screw was over tightened. It caused this section of the plastic to buckle and then the crack ran all the way along right here. Don't over tighten your screws. Alright, so this one, a lot of these RVs use these really junky, let's see if I can find one that's exposed enough, these really junky square tip bits like this. So just identify what kind of tip you need and that's the tip you're going to use. So basically you just need to expose all of those and then get your drill and take them out. So, make sure you get all that plastic off. You don't want any hard foreign objects keeping you from getting a good seal with the new one. There's a screw right there. Make sure you got all the screws too, because you might have missed a couple like I did. Another thing I would recommend is make sure you do this on a sunny day. On a warm day, don't try to do this in the rain. It's better to just wait, because look, this whole surface is wet and dirty right now. I'm gonna have to clean it, and then I'm gonna have to let it kind of bake in the sun for a bit to dry out. I don't wanna be putting the new sealant down on top of this wet surface, so I'm gonna let this sit for probably an hour, open in the sun, and just let it dry. All right, y'all, check it out. I hate these square bit screws. So I'm swapping it out for my own hardware. Plus, I don't wanna try to reuse these because they're, they're covered in all this gunk. So basically, if you are gonna use new hardware, make sure you go with something that's galvanized or zinc plated or something, something that's gonna hold up to the weather. Don't use a galvanized, or sorry, um, don't use a drywall screw or something like that because it is gonna rust. Um, so use something that's weather resistant and something that's the same length and width so as you can see my new hardware it's a tiny bit longer but not really and as you can see in there i have plenty of space to go a little bit longer so but you don't want to get crazy and go with like a three inch screw or something because you might damage some wiring or some plumbing or pierce down through the roof or something in your rv so use a fastener that's close to the exact same size
skylight, make sure you have complete continuity all the way around from your caulking. You don't want any anywhere that it's not in contact with itself. As you can see, I put it on nice and wide and thick the whole way so that when I put this on, it's gonna sit there and just smash it. It's gonna ooze it all out and fill in all the spaces. I want it oozing out. I want to make sure there's plenty. Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put caulking around every single hole where I put a screw through. So that my screw is covered in caulking. Even though it's going to have caulking from the bottom side, just the extra precaution. Okay, now at this step, I'm going to start screwing it down, but I'm not going to cinch it down super tight. I don't want to drive all that sealant out of there. I just want to sandwich it down a little bit. Make sure you feel for the pre-drilled hole with your screw. Don't screw through the plastic without the hole being there you will crack it like the last guy did who did this so just take your time go slow I know you got a drill in your hand and it's impact drill like this one do not sit there and brrr, impact it down all I want to do is I mean, these screws like structurally really aren't doing much for this RV. All they're doing is, is sealing the silicone down, really. Um, they're not gonna be what's actually holding this down, really. It's gonna be the sealant and the glue. So uh, don't worry about cranking these things down. So I didn't have enough of that other caulking to finish the job, so I'm glad I have this other tube. So again, this is Henry's Tropical Roof Sealant. It's 100% silicone, UV resistant, non-hardening, non-cracking, blah, 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 blah. Make sure you get the right stuff. Be careful when you're working. Do not kneel or step on this at all. It will crack. Last step, I'm gonna do one final big old smear of caulking all the way around this edge. Be liberal with it. plastic from the old one hopefully you have some kind of scraper or leveler I'm just going to level this out with applying a little bit of downward pressure just to make sure that it all seats into all the little spots that it needs to seat into then I'm also going to work it around all of the screws Final product. 
I always do this to myself when I'm caulking something. I just kind of get a little carried away. It looks terrible, but uh, it's gonna hold. So another thing I did is, here's a little example right here. You can see the edge of the old caulking right there. What I did all the way around is I just took my finger with that glove on and I made sure I worked it into that. So, looks like I missed this little spot. I wanna put a little bit of this fresh caulking. All the way around that old sealant. That way, uh, where it meets the roof. That way it can't leak right there. All right, you guys, that's it for this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, and drop a thank you in the comments if this helped you out. All right, have a good one.